welcome back to Life Journey Production Studios. My name is Keith, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the streaming quality settings available inside the ATEM control software. If you ever wondered about the difference of those qualities, that's what this video is gonna be all about. And here you have a look at those. If you go over to the output settings in these folders up here, palettes, media, hyperdeck, and output, if you go in the output and you go down here to streaming quality, you can see you have six different options for streaming quality. You have from streaming low, medium, and high to HyberDeck low, medium, and high. That's actually um, HyberDeck recording codecs, which you would find normally in a HyberDeck. They're higher quality, and they're all 1080p, but they are larger files the higher you go up in quality, and we're gonna show you each of those qualities today. Then we're gonna show you a picture at the very end of all of those still images together, taken right from that video footage, right inside Adobe Premiere Pro, and then brought into this slide that I'll show you at the end. And then also I'm gonna show you that still image back to back to back to back so you can get a better idea and adjust your eyes and see if you see a difference. And if you do, please put a comment in the chat below. So let's just take a real quick look at the manual right here. The manual says right here on page number 26, I will put a link to this PDF uh, in the description below so you can click on it and read it yourself. But on page 26, you can see it right up here. Um, it says in this box, set the streaming quality to low, medium, or high. This will set the quality for the recording output via USB-C. So there you have it. If you change these settings and you're gonna stream at streaming low, you're recording if you're recording inside your ATEM at the same time, which you can do. It can encode, stream, and record at the same time. So if you have like an ATEM Mini Pro, you're only gonna be recording the program. If you have one of the ISO models, you're gonna be recording all of the different uh, inputs. So keep that in mind. But that quality of the recording is gonna be set based on that little selection so keep that in mind so if you're just recording a video in your studio and you want to get the highest quality you can set it to hyperdeck high and you can get the highest quality available those would be very large files so keep that in mind when you go to edit them so that's your choice but this video is about the difference so i'm going to take you through each of those right here in the studio right now and you can take a look at those and see um, if you can see a difference and then leave that in the comment below then stay tuned i'll do a little wrap up at the very end here we go okay this is a streaming test i am streaming at the low setting you can see right here uh, right up there can't open this up when i'm actually recording but you can see very faintly right there, it says streaming low. So this is the quality of streaming low. I'll move my hands around. I'll look into the camera. I'll smile. I have my normal light for my live streams. So you tell me uh, what you think streaming low looks like compared to the other settings coming right up. Okay, now I'm streaming medium. I'm gonna look into the camera and smile. I have the same lighting as I normally do here in the studio. So you can see right here, it is streaming medium under the quality settings. And um, I also have named the file streaming medium here too. So I'll be able to upload those later and show those to my live audience. So there you go, streaming medium on the um, ATEM Mini Extreme. Be the same on ATEM Mini Pro. So you test yours and see the quality as well. Okay, now I'm streaming high right here in the studio, the same exact lighting just a few seconds later after I streamed medium, I'm streaming medium, now I'm streaming high. You can see right here in the settings, the file is called streaming high, and I have it right here, even though I can't change it while I'm recording, it says streaming high right there. So you can compare that to medium and also to low and see if you see a major difference in the quality of the video um, as they're compared here in my live audience and on YouTube as an uploaded video comparison. Okay, this is HyperDeck Low. That's right. You can set it at the same settings you have in a HyperDeck in the ATEM Mini Extreme I have, it's also available in the other devices as well, the ATEM Mini Pro. So this is what it looks like in my normal studio lighting. You can tell 
Uh, if you can tell a difference, let me know in the comments, you and my live audience in the chat. So here is a comparison of HyperDeck Low in the studio. And you can see it right there. I'm at HyperDeck Low up here in the quality settings. And I've renamed this file to HyperDeck Low. So you let me know if you see a quality difference between the other three streaming settings as we start looking at these HyperDeck 3 options. Okay, this is HyperDeck Medium. So we are all the way up from streaming me um, low, medium, high. Now we've done HyperDeck Low. This is HyperDeck Medium. You can tell me if you see a difference in the comments or in the, the chat if you are seeing this live. Um, again, here's the settings right here. You can see I'm up here at HyperDeck Medium in the um, quality settings. And then down here, I've renamed the file to HyperDeck Medium. So that's what we're testing now. And we have one more quality setting, HyperDeck High, to test out next. And last up, HyperDeck High. That's it. This is as high as my ATEM Extreme goes. This is as high as a HyperDeck goes. So obviously, this is at a, bitter, a bigger bit depth. Should be a little bit better quality, but consider the YouTube compression when you do the comparisons. That's why I'm going to do a live a test um, so you can see the different versions live as well as I'm going to do an uploaded video here on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed the streaming settings comparison of all six available in the A10 Mini Extreme that I own be the same as an A10 Mini Pro. So again, there they are, HyperDeck High, HyperDeck High file. This is as high as the settings go inside the ATEM Extreme that I own. Well, that wraps it up. Here is that still image. So take a look at that and then stay tuned for a back to back after that and then a wrap up for me. Okay, that is the still image with all six of those stills from the different recording settings in your uh, software control. Now let's look at each of those slides back to back, starting with the lowest quality all the way up to the highest quality. So streaming low all the way up to HyperDeck High. Well, that's a wrap on this little video on the different quality settings you can stream at. You're also recording at those. So I hope this is helpful for you. Don't forget to check out my ATEM Mini Pro Getting Started video series, HyperDeck series, as well as my newest series, which is on the ATEM Extreme, Extreme ISO, part one and part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Well, thanks for tuning in. This is Keith at Life Journey Production Studios. I hope to see you in the next video.